Why did you get off the highway? Relax. Don't tell me to relax. Tell me where you're taking me. On a shortcut. If your useless husband had dropped you off on time, we'd be at the clinic already. Oh my god, it's pitch black out here, David. There aren't even any signs. You want to get there on time? We take the back roads. So why were you late anyway? I don't want to talk about it. In fact, I really don't want to talk. Fine by me. How much longer? Well, I guess it depends when we can get a lift. Anybody call? Not since you asked five minutes ago. Can I get the yellow pages? Clinic? Yes, uh, hi. Um, my wife uh, should be over there. Her name is Amanda Martin. I just wanted to, it might be under Hayward also. I just wanted to see if they, if they got started. I'm not at liberty to give out that information. Well, I just wanted to know, you know, at least Sir, you could... I'm sorry. I'm not at liberty to discuss Oh, hold on that. a second. Hold on a second. I'm not some weirdo calling up, okay? I'm her husband, and I'm also a doctor over at Pine Valley. Then you should so, be familiar with privacy rules. Have a nice I am. I am familiar. Adam has lost his mind. Well, I don't disagree with you on that, only... You can't just wave a wand and throw him an okay then. I've done it before. One phone call had the men in my come take him away. Well, that was probably just a temporary thing. Listen, you need grounds to declare Adam insane. He loves money, lives for him. He married a serial killer without a prenup. What more grounds do you need? Well, unfortunately, being stupid and being crazy is, uh, it's not the same thing. But at least as far as the law is concerned. You know, kiddo, I get the fact that you want to protect Adam. But having him tossed in a rubber room is kind of extreme. Isn't it's it? not about protecting Adam. It's about protecting everyone else. I'm sorry I don't follow. He hasn't been himself lately. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, you think he's going to hurt someone? Just trust me, he needs to be locked up. Sarah, what's going on? He killed Uncle Stewart. What on earth would put that idea in your head? Like, the signs were all there. We just didn't see them. What do you mean, we? You too? You honestly think that Adam shot Stewart? Brandon Zach convinced me. I got mine from Marissa. She pieced it together. And this whole time, we thought that Annie was marrying Adam so that he couldn't testify against her. When actually it was the other way around. It was so Annie can testify against Adam. Annie's innocent. And all this time, she's been protecting him. Yes, now Mr. and Mrs. Chandler get off scot-free and Kendall takes the fall. And nobody knows who the killer wait, is. Wait, 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 wait. No. Adam, Adam loved Stuart. He, he worshipped him. He, he wouldn't shoot his own brother. That doesn't make any sense. Nothing he does makes sense. He's different. He's dangerous to us, to everyone else. Look, I had worked my tail off that company. I'll be damned if his whacked out wife and him run it back into the ground. Wait, hold on a second. I thought that you were done with all of that. I am, I am. But Colby's not. She's hanging on. She thinks that the dad is going to dump Annie and come back to the real family. But when she finds out the truth and it hits her, she's going to need a lot to ease the pain. Okay, I will take care of Colby. She does not need Adam's money. And you don't need to fight Adam. Look, I think you need to just let go of this whole insanity thing. Huh? It's just going to drive you crazy. Excuse me. Hey. Hey. 
She's right. Look, thank God you got your entire future ahead of you. You you can't waste it running after Adam or his mistakes if what you say is true. This isn't about me. This is about Colby. This is about little Adam's legacy. What am I supposed to do, Tad? I'm supposed to sit back and watch Adam destroy everything? JR, you're supposed to live your life, remember? The one you just got back. Yeah, I thank God every day that I'm in remission, but if I don't do something, Annie will take everything, everything that the Chandlers are worth for. Wait, you don't need it. JR, you're, you're, you're brilliant. You and Marissa and Colby, you could, you could build something of your own. You could have a fresh start. Look, take it from me. I, it took a bullet in the head for me to realize that I had to drop all the garbage I'd been lugging around and start doing things that made me happy. I thought you were headed in the same direction. Perhaps before I realized that. JR, your father's expectations have had you in a box your entire life. Breaking out of it was the start of getting over your cancer. You start chasing after your father or what he's done, you're headed right back to what made you sick in the first place. What the hell, David? Didn't you see the red light? Come on. Excuse me. It wasn't like I wasn't racing against the clock. What are we going to do now? There aren't any gas stations around here. Okay, all right. Just try to relax, okay? I'll go out and try to flag down a car. I can't remember the last time I saw another set of headlights. Just call a tow truck. Yeah, of course. That's, of course. That's a great idea. Yes, hi. Is this emergency services? Yeah, I ran out of gas on Route 5, just past Ridge Road. Uh, can you send a tow truck, please? Are you kidding? That long? All right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be here. Where are we going to be? How long? He said he would do his best, but it looks like it's going to be in the morning. What? We could be stuck here all night? You son of a... You did this on purpose. What are you, wait a minute. What are you talking about? You did about? this so that I couldn't get pregnant for the first month. I simply neglected to put gas in the tank. Oh, oh my God. That is such bull. I just want to get to the clinic. I want my family back. I want Jake. Amanda, I'm sorry, okay? I've just been so preoccupied lately. All I can think about is this baby. But look, we're going to create a new life, right? Really, is there anything more beautiful, more important in the world? So it's okay. I mean, if we have to wait another month... No! It is now or never. What is it? What's going on? I'm an idiot. You were right. Dad doesn't care about anyone but Annie. She's completely wiped us out of his life. God, it makes me mad. I know, I know, I know. I was so mad. And Dad, I asked Liza to help me throw him in a hook haven. I realized it's not going to solve anything. Just let it go. I know it's hard, but it's what we got to do. Don't worry. No matter what, I'll always be here for you. And baby, so will I. I swear I will do it, David. I will back out of the contract. All right, look, let's not overreact, okay? If we wait a month, it's not the end of the world. If I get pregnant, there's no guarantee that it will Amanda, happen right come away. On. You're young, you're healthy. We can see Trevor like that, right? So why should it be different? This time it's artificial. Clinics, doctors, I have no idea how my body's going to react to that. Trevor was drunk in sex. But it worked, didn't it? Like a charm. Wait, you're not suggesting that we... I thought you were. <laughs> 